So we have something interesting to share with you guys. Could be interesting, might not be interesting. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Well, you do, but I always knew I was white, so. Okay. So, as many of you know, we're a mixed culture family. Mixed ethnicity. Mixed ethnicity, mixed culture, mixed whatever you want to call it. Mm. Um, and you guys have always known that I have always claimed to be Pakistani, and he's always claimed to just be white, which is actually still pretty accurate. European. But um, we went and got some DNA, what are they called? DNA ancestry tests? DNA Genetic? testing. Genetic, Genetic testing? Yeah. yeah. And um, we got our results back, so mm -hmm. we're gonna sh we're gonna share what we what we actually have in our blood. So, which is really pretty straightforward for me. I am one hundred percent European. <laughs> exactly like so what when, he thought. When people tell me, "Oh, you can't say you're white," that's just wrong. No, it's actually very very accurate. It's very accurate. So he can play all those that's right. stereotypical roles when it comes to. White people. Yep, I'm, I'm <laughs> British, Irish, Finnish, Spanish, Portuguese, and Ashkenazi Jewish. 0.4 percent. 0.4 percent. Let's clarify the percentages though, because I think that part's interesting. Like you're not you're not a hundred percent British Irish. No, I'm 95.2 percent British Irish. Okay. And then it breaks it down like Greater London, County Cork, and Ireland. Uh, One percent Finnish, 3.2 percent Spanish, Portuguese. Which I feel like it's really funny that when we have something that's like 1% or like less than 1%, we always get really excited about that. I remember when that came up on your thing and you're like, oh my God, I knew it was Spanish. I'm like, but you're 1%. No, I am 3.2%. <laughs> okay, well, you know what I mean. It's it, in comparison to your pure European side, hey. it's very minuscule, but you know. Did you know where Spain is located? Yes. It's not in Asia. I know. I'm aware. It's in Europe. I know. But I'm just saying. I think I think that was funny. Yeah. Well, you know what though? It's because my dad always told us because our in my family, mm -hmm. uh, my dad's side that some of them are big and dark-haired and dark-eyed and dark-skinned, and then the other half is small, light-skinned, light hair, light eyes. And that's exactly like Your family's like that. We're though. split like that. The, so the light-skinned, the light-haired, yeah. light-eyed ones are smaller. Yeah. And then like myself, the dark-skinned, dark hair Dark uh, eyes. Dark eyes were just naturally bigger. So. Weird. And he said that, again, this is just going off of family stories, that that's because of a mix of uh, Spanish-Portuguese kind of coming over, making their way over to, to England and Ireland and so Many on and so forth. Many moons ago. It's a long time. Long moons. A long time yeah. ago. But you still don't exactly know like how many generations back um, the the trip was over to Canada now was it? Uh, no, well, this probably told you, probably shows you on here. I don't think Isn't so. It? No, it doesn't show you. Showed your mom. No, that's like generations. It it kind of like breaks it down in terms of like how many generations back that percentage might be, but I don't know if it always shows. Uh, maybe it doesn't. You keep show talking. Yours. I'll keep looking. Yeah. So anyway, so I'll tell you my results. This is this is really cool. So. We actually did this test like over, I think before COVID, right? Yeah. I think it was before COVID. So this is like pre 2020. And the cool thing about this testing is you do your test and then the more people that do the same test, they match you with their DNA or like, how does it work? Like, so it works by based upon communities, right? So if yeah. you have, if one person in Estonia takes the test, and they match with you DNA wise. Exactly. They kind of bunch you together and then change your composition. Yeah. So, but then they will look at it when in that Estonia and a mm -hmm. hundred other people took it. And it turns out that person isn't actually even part of that ethnic group that is originally from Estonia. Then your composition would change because you yeah. were related to the guy they thought was from Estonia. But because more people from that locality took the test, it proves that he's actually not even from there. So he would be from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And then that's where everything kind of changes. And then yeah. once, let's just say uh, that person uh, was from Greece, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but people in Greece, in whatever locality he was originally from, yeah. start taking these DNA tests. 
then they say, oh, wait a second. Now that guy is actually part of this group because he's matching with them. Yeah. So that you're actually yeah. from so Greece. Yeah, so it's ever, it's ever from, changing. Yeah. It's ever changing depending on how many people in the world take this test. Yeah. So how many relatives do you have on there? Like it 60 shows, something. Yeah, so, so it shows you how many relatives, rel, like DNA relatives yeah. that have taken the test are related to you. And the cool thing about it is like you can actually like contact them, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And it tells you like, this is your fifth cousin removed on this side. Yeah. And it's like, it kind of like shows you like this family tree. So anyway, long story short. So I did this test, we did this test pre-COVID and we did it at the same time he did it, I did it, and I got my mom to do it as well. Cause mm -hmm. I was curious and she was also curious too. So when we first got the test results back pre-COVID, um, mine, <laughs> which isn't a surprise, said 100% without any doubt, Indo-Pak, like India, Pakistan. There was nothing else in my blood. And I was like, hmm, okay. Boring. That's, that's very boring. And like, clearly my ancestors never moved, which is actually funny because I came and rocked the boat. Obviously I married him and our kids are completely like mixed. Um, but that story of my family never moving was like pretty accurate, right? So flash forward to today and we have gone through the results again because now more of my relatives have done this test and more people that match my DNA are now in the databank. Mm -hmm. And my results have changed, which is... More so than mine. Yes, but more so. The only thing mine changed, I, I, I remember when I first did it, I was Germanic, French-German. Yeah. And then that changed to Spanish-Portuguese. Yeah, so, so you're not. I went from much more white to a little bit less white, but just kind of tanned white. <laughs> still white. Yeah, still white. Okay, so here are my results. So... Like I said before, it was 100% Indo-Pak, right? Very accurate. Like my dad was born on the India side, like which, what is now known as India. And my mom was born on the Pakistan side, which is just Pakistan. So my dad made the trip over from India to Pakistan, settled there when he was just like a couple years old. And then their entire family is from there. So that story was accurate. So now my results have changed. And now it says still 99% Indo-Pak and 1% of that is either Northwest Asian, which is Northwest Asian, Iranian, Caucasian, and Mesopotamian. So that basically, blew my mind. you're 100 percent Indo-Pak. No, with a little 1%, bit of spice from outside. A little teeny sprinkle, which is no. I, I know that doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but for somebody who whose family claims that they have no mixed blood, this literally proves. What kind of family? This is literally that? proves that there's some mixing going on. So my Proves mom- that your great, 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 granny. <laughs> or grandpa. Or grandpa. They were- Had some white. That's it. And that's like crazy. Cause so I pulled the results up on my mom's cause I was like, okay, well if mine has changed, then hers has changed. She actually has more white than me. And so it's hers, on her side. Her, it's on her side. So hers was before it was a hundred percent Indobach, but it, hers has changed. And now it's like two, percent or something two or three yeah. percent caucasian and actually hers specifies and says coptic egyptian mm -hmm. and then it says caucasian and i was like what this so is just like goes to show that you didn't crazy you're not the first to rock the boat i'm not the first somebody to else rock was the rocking boat. the boat back in the day somebody else was and the cool thing about her test is it showed like how many generations back so it said between five to eight generations back that was in her blood. It's a long so, time ago. Yeah, so my full pure blood Indo-Pak is like probably just my dad's side. And my mom's side, I guess, is more experimental in terms of rocking the boat. And you know. in terms of everything <laughs> is that we're all mixed. We're just at all some mixed point. at some Come point. Come on now. The human race came out of Africa, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about our own kids. So pretty, I, you know what? They're pretty much 50-50. What like 50 percent european 50 percent yeah indopak indopak that's actually true yeah. pretty, pretty much so if they were to do the test then so it would be pretty split down be. the middle we should get them to do it should we yeah because you know what I've, I've i've definitely heard of like twins doing it and their dna is different what so that comes to the question of is it actually accurate i don't know we're maybe just kind we of should. laying it out there yeah, yeah maybe the next one we'll, we'll do the test and see maybe one's like oh you're south american oh you're you're this the interesting yeah, part interesting. is when they look at their dna is, is 50 50 yeah 
50% uh, of their DNA is the colonizers and 50% of their DNA is the colonist. <laughs> they literally so have true. that whole circle. <laughs> That's so true. And then they prove that we can coexist exactly. and live their, together. <laughs> their DNA is proof that they're, coexisting they're is Switzerland. possible. They're Switzerland. They're like that yeah. straight up, just like neutral blood. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's true though, right? So have you guys ever done a DNA test or an ancestry test? If you have, tell us what you thought you were and then what your results oh, actually in were. In terms of what we thought we were, I was told my whole life that I was Scottish. Oh, what? Not a drop of Scott blood in me. Uh, wow. As it stands right now. But you also thought you were Irish. Like, I, I, I am know, Irish. First... No, no, you, you thought that you were predominantly Irish. I am. I know you are. Yeah. But that part wasn't wrong. It's because my dad was correct and my mom was not. I guess, yeah. <laughs> but That's no, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, my family has a family Bible, so we can trace our lineage. <laughs> I think back. I say Bible because no, no, back there to ain't the, no religion in his family. No, back to the Battle of Hastings, which was in 1066. So I believe mm -hmm. I've never looked at it. I've never had hands on it, but I know it exists. Um, so I think maybe the whole like family knowledge is a little bit more on my dad's side than my mom's side because I don't yeah. think other than like her grandparents, I don't think there's like any record of who's what's yeah, whatever right? where they're so, from. Yeah. So yeah, she actually did her DNA test, so we're now linked up on there, and yeah. so. Mm -hmm. You're not Scottish. <laughs> you thought you were, but you're not. You lied to me my whole life. It's okay. When I like, like I said, when I got my mom to look at her updated test a couple days ago, she laughed her head off. I've never seen her laugh so hard. When I told her she has white in her, she's like, "We have white? Like what?" And she thought that was so funny because remember, you guys, if you look back to our "How We Met" video, she was very much against me getting married to him because we weren't from the same culture. Because that was going to be a problem, right? But turns out her blood already had white in it, so <laughs> it wasn't the first time. She's hating on her own people. I know. I think that's so funny. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys have ever done one, let us know in the mm -hmm. comments what your results were and what you thought you were. It's always fun to like read that and mm -hmm. like see because. You know we're a mix of so many different things and we don't actually realize it so exactly I and i fun. think that just proves the point that race is an illusion it's race. literally we're the human race that's it yeah. that's all we are well to to, to create boundaries and to create division based upon skin color is pretty ridiculous because at the end of the day most of us are probably mixed with something that we never thought yeah. we were anyway right yeah. Yeah. so the whole idea that one is superior to another is ridiculous yeah yeah, and, and just because your family or your grandparents or your great-grandparents were from the same country, it doesn't mean that their ancestors never right. moved from they that have, country. They could have been immigrants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Clearly mine were. Mm -hmm. Never thought never thought that they crawled all the way from Europe. They crawled? <laughs> Prior to the evolving into a human being, they, they crawled from <laughs> one locality to the next. And then they went to Pakistan and settled there. And then they thought that was their only line mm. of... Culture. Could have been some Viking on a boat, or I guess not there, but no. could have been just some random traveler. And then could it's like, been. I like this place. Yeah. Like you see those random like yeah. white people that end up in, in like Afghanistan mm -hmm. and all of a sudden there's like generations of like half like uh, white, mm -hmm. half uh, Afghan people. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. There's there's actually some documentaries on YouTube. They're pretty interesting. Yeah. Where they just like one person just goes into and assimilates into a culture mm -hmm. and their bloodline becomes so i mean just look at genghis khan right what they say like one in so many people are, yeah. are related to him because he liked the ladies and he uh conquered most of the that particular region of the world yeah. so yeah it's it's pretty interesting the fact that somewhere down the line we're all connected like we're if you believe connected. in in uh the origin of of religious philosophy that you know we all came from common ancestors um mm -hmm. then the hell yeah totally. we're all related anyway totally. at some point so and i think about like our kids and their kids 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 and then imagine them doing a D dna test like let's say 20 years down the road i wonder like how they would think about their blood and what that what that's like and how mixed that's going to be mm -hmm. if they're 50 50 right now like how mixed do you think it's going to be in the future it's going to be so convoluted like it's going to be awesome well that's that's the <laughs> it's thing it's going to be a, such a mix that's the thing right? and i think it's... our generation is really doing that because previous to this, like the generations before us in, Wait a in yours and mine, let's just be serious though. Yeah. 
there wasn't as much mixing. No, for sure. You know? But let's look at our friends. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> They're all like Pakistani, Pakistani. Arab, Arab. Not just not just that. Palestinian. Yeah, Palestinian. <laughs> Palestinian. <laughs> their kids are gonna, yeah. their kids' kids are gonna be mixed. Yeah, yeah, so, for not sure. all of our friends. We not all of some, our some friends. Some mixed friends. But yes. Yeah, it's interesting. My theory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you believe in extraterrestrials, you believe in aliens. What color are they? Any color. No, they're gray. That's what they're called. How do you know that they're gray? Because that's what everyone says. They're called the grays, okay? Okay. So they're gray. So okay. my theory, this is again, this is going on on a limb here, guys, but my theory is that they're not from outer space, that they're us from the future coming back, right? Think about it. If you take all of the colors of people and, you, and the percentages of white people, brown people, oh, uh, they turn Asian gray. People, you mix them all up, what color they turn? <laughs> they turn gray. So you're I, literally thinking of paint. So what? You, when you mix paint together, it. it just either turns brown or gray. Mm, no, it depends it, on the, it depends on the mix. It turns brown. So if you mix the all the people part. together right now, they're going to turn gray. And in a million years from now, they're going to come back as aliens and tell us you guys screwed it all up. <laughs> and that's where we're at right now. The process of screwing everything. Yeah, up. just the process of screwing it all up. Mixing it all together. That's it. Shaking it up a little. <laughs> Exactly. All right, guys. Um, while we film this video, we wanted to give a huge thank you because we just reached 900,000 900, subscribers. That's nuts. There's 900,000 of you that click that subscribe button. So thank you, guys. Absolutely. Thank you so much yes. for, for being along this crazy ride. Again, the likes, the comments, the shares, mm -hmm. the subscribing to the channel, all those things help us to be able to create the More. content that we want to create, which is, you know, to be able to to share our life share our lives and, and show just the beauty of life in general right mm -hmm. because at the end of the day we're all in this together whether you like it or not we're kind of stuck with each other so Definitely. the best thing we can do is just get along and and we don't have to accept the things that everyone else does but we should at least accept the fact that we're all here we're all human we all live on this one little planet and we should make the best of it definitely so thank you so much for being a part of this whole journey it's been absolutely wild to think that just like a year ago we had yeah. no subscribers yeah. at all and now you guys actually enjoy watching our content and watching our videos so yeah. definitely leave us a comment down below and we'll catch you in our next video absolutely bye, bye guys, guys.